Good morning, this is Burnrate, and welcome to a new series in Unreal Engine I'm going to call Two Minute Tutorials, and hopefully I'm going to make many of them, and they will be about two minutes. Today we're going to start with everyone's favorite topic, replication. So we're going to look at three different actors here for three different examples. These are called NoRep Both, NoRep Local, and NoRep Service. You can see in the class defaults, none of them are marked for replication. Here, here, and here. And we're going to see how they behave based on how their blueprints are set up. Here in the both, we're telling the actor to set a variable called start location, set that value in your text render, as well as the actor's name, and then on event tick, just move up and down over time with a sine wave, change its z-axis values. So this one is going to execute whether it's the client or the server, either way, because there's no logic or filter. The one called no rep local, again, class defaults, has no replication set up. And also, this start location variable is not replicated. But this one is going to switch on the remote uh, version for authority. And this is the client, is remote, so it's going to set the value for start location on remote, as well as move using the remote authority. And the actor called the no rep server is going to switch and set the variable on authority or server and move based on server. So let's see how that looks. So here we are, we can see our three actors. This is the client view, this is the server view. So the first one we're going to talk about is the first one we looked at called no rep both. So you can see that it's here also, it's a little bit hidden because there's two on top of each other, but you can see the word both in there a little bit. And they're both moving up and down because both actors on the client and the server are executing that z-axis motion. So they're both moving, but they're a little desynced because they're not really communicating. They're just both doing the same thing, but with lag or any kind of outside effects on your actor, those things are going to get desynced much, much worse. And what the server sees and what the player sees is going to be very different. Here you can see the no rep local actor, which is here also, is moving up and down but it's not moving on the server as you would expect. And the one called no rep server is moving up and down, but since there is no replication set in the class defaults, it is not moving on the client. Just as we'd expect, none of these really work. So again, we're looking at what is essentially the exact same three actors. The only difference here is in the class defaults, you can see I have enabled replication and replicate movement. Now this allows for replication. It does not tell everything to replicate because you don't want excess network traffic. So anything you want replicated, you need to explicitly say, I want this replicated. And there's a handy dandy checkbox here for movement. So you can just click that and an actor will replicate movement. So you don't need to do that manually in your blueprint. But for other things you need to do, and here again, we're looking at the start location. This is not replicated. So we're going to look at that as well in a minute. So on the both actor, with replication set, we're looking, this, both the server and the client are going to execute the same thing without any kind of logic deciding who does what. The rep local, again, this, the client that is local will set the variable location and move your actor, and the server, using authority, will set the variable as well as move the actor. And they're both authority and remote, remote will be setting this text render. So let's take a look at how that behaves. We're again looking at our three actors, again with the client on the left side and the server on the right side. The rep both actor is moving up and down on the server and is also over here in the wrong position, moving up and down on the client. We have the rep local, which is not moving on the server as we would expect, but it is moving up and down on the client. And now finally we have the rep server which is moving up and down in the server and the client and it is synchronized. So the way to think about this is the server is executing this action and since replication is enabled and movement is replicated, it is replicating the server's movement to the client side actor. So that is replication as how it's supposed to be in a simple setting where you want to move something on the server and have it replicate to all clients. All the players will see this and the server will know what's going on. So everyone's going to see the same thing and understand it the same. And you can see here the uh, value of the length of the vector where the starting is different because only the server set the start location variable and that variable was not set to replicate. 
So the client got a zero value of default values for the start location variable since that was not explicitly set to replicate. If we want to take a look at that, we'll go and look at our next couple of actors. These are two very simple actors. All they are doing is setting the value of start location. The difference in these blueprints is that this start location variable is set to replication. And replication means again it will if it changes on the server, that change will be sent to the clients. And also up here, these class defaults, replication is enabled. I haven't enabled movement because it's not moving. But even if this variable is set to replicate and your actor is not set to replicate, it will not allow anything in this actor to replicate, even if you have declared it. What this does is allow items inside this actor to replicate. And the very, and so this one on server sets the value on server, and they both, the server and the client, are going to text render based on the value of the start location. And here the client is doing it, but not the server, along with variable replication. So we'll take a look at that. So again, we have the client here on the left side and the server here on the right side. So we can see that the local variable that was set by the client does not replicate to the server because replication is one way. So if a client sets this variable, the server won't see it, which means no other players will see it. That could still be useful in occasions where you only need a value for the player to see for a HUD or a, a widget or something, and you don't need to send that variable over the network. So you don't need replication and you don't need to set that value on the server. And on the right side, we can see the value was set by the server in this actor and with replication it was also sent to the client so they have the same value. The next example we're going to look at is something that's a little more, bit more useful for player interaction. This is going to be an actor that will simply move up 10 spaces when given the command. And you can see here it sets the start location, the server is setting it, and this variable is set to replication so both the server and the client will have the same value in start location. Since we are not possessing this actor called rep input, we're going to use the player controller to get the class of rep input. And when the F key is pressed by the player, it will get this actor and call its move up event, which is down here, which will move the actor up. So let's take a look at how that behaves. You can see in the class defaults of our actor that replication is set and movement is replicated as well as the start variable location is uh, set. So again here we have the client on the left side and the server on the right side. So I'm going to take control of the client and I'm going to press F and it makes my little pyramid go up because there was no switch on the server or client that was doing it. But it's not showing up on the server which means hey you know no other players are going to see that either. But if we're the server we can press F and that'll move it up and since the movement was replicated it sent its server's position to your client and put this back in its spot. Again, we can move it up here and if we control the server and press F, we'll move it up there. But now your player is not going to be using the server to enter commands. They're going to be using the client. So how do we want to handle that? You can see the text render is not set in this as well. I'll go into that in a moment. But if we look at the player controller where the input is pressed, we can say, hey, why don't I switch on authority and only allow the server to call the move up function. That way the movement will replicate to all clients. But if you think about this, this means when F is pressed, only the server will ever do anything, but the server is never pressing F. That's always the player. So what do I want to do? When the player presses F, I want to ask the server to move my actor for me. So I get remote or client. I'm going to call this move up function which is in your player controller. You could have this in a possessed pawn as well. And this is a move up function which runs on the server. It replicates. You can see here. So this the player is going to press F, call this function. The server will run this function which grabs the actor and tells it to move up. And then since the actor is set to replicate and movement replicate, it'll replicate that server movement to all clients. So basically, the player is asking the server to do the action, and then the server 
is doing the action and sending the result back to the clients. So let's take a look at how that behaves. Here we are again with our client on the left side and server on the right side. So I'm going to control the client right now. I'll press F and they both move up simultaneously. When I press F, the server, the client is asking the server to move. The server is moving and sending the correct position out to this client and any other client that might be connected. You can see they stay together. If I go to the server and press F, nothing happens because there is no action for the server to execute when F is pressed. That's how you'd, you'd want it, the player control. Now we're going to talk about this text render here real quick. You can see it's not set on the client because I did something different in this class. Or I had this server setting this value of this variable, which is replicated, so that's going to the client, that's fine. But the client was not setting the value of the text render. So here if I plug this in, we can take a quick look and you say, now you see the client right here sees this rep input has the same value as the server. Because I told both the client and the server set the value of this text render. Well, why isn't it working on the client when it's set to replicate? And I even said, hey, why don't we tell this text render explicitly to replicate this component? It is replicating the component, but it will not replicate variables inside the component. And the text of the text render is considered a variable of that component. So if you want to change a variable in a component, you're going to need to do that in both the server and the client. As you can see here, the switch rejoins and goes to set this text render. I have a delay to allow the server to set this variable before anyone changes the text render value so that works. So let's take a look at both the execution paths for the server and the client. So first we're going to click on the server up here. We're going to choose, oh, that's the client one. I want the server simulating. So I'm going to press F. This guy. I'm going to press F and you can see that little execution path. But it's the server doing it so he does nothing. Let's go back to the client and I'm going to press F here and you can see Go look at our guy. He moves up, and you can see F is going down and calling this function. But then I don't see anything over here. This doesn't look to be executing. That's because the server is executing it. So what I have to do is go back to my server actor, and I can see when I press F here, do that one. This will not light up because this is what the client is doing, but it's asking the server to call this function. So you can see this function executing, and we can look at the same thing inside of our actor, or the add actor local offset. We're looking at a we're looking at a server right now. So if I press F on the client, you can see the server executing the move. If I look at the client, I guess I cannot. There we go. It's moving, but it's not showing up because the server is doing that work. So I hope this helped to clear up some questions or thoughts or anything about replication. This is all done in blueprints. Um, it might, and the ideas are easily transferable to C++. So in review, some of the basic ideas are that replication goes from server to client. You need to enable an actor, have replication in the class defaults, and you also need to explicitly tell anything you want to to replicate such as this variable if you have any questions let me know leave a comment tell me what you think if this was helpful or not it was helpful for me to make it I hope you learned something from it if you came here to do so and if you saw any mistakes or have any further questions please leave a comment below and I'll be happy to talk until the next video have fun